G'day fishy friends, welcome back to Cookie's Fish Room. My name is Norm, for those who don't know me. Today I will be discussing a disease called lymphocytis. Not many people have heard about this disease and in recent weeks I've been helping and discussing with many people on uh, Facebook, our Cookie's Fish Room uh, group, about this disease and it seems to be very uh, much more common than other people think it is. So hopefully this video will help educate those who need the information and make people aware about how to identify what it is and how to treat it. So what is lymphocytis? It is a viral disease. It's brought on basically by stresses, just like most other viral diseases such as columnaris. This one more likely to be brought on by poor water quality. So there again, in, um, you have to make sure your parameters are good and your water is clean as much as possible. There are a lot of people out there that say, oh, I'll never test my water, I, I change my water once every two months, there's no point in checking it. You never know when your pH can be off, and I'm not saying off by point, you know, two or something like that, I'm talking by a fair whack. Your GH is too low and you know how important GH is when it comes to live bearers. And if you don't know about it, check out the video below about, well, further down the list about GH. Any parameter is important and that's why we do measure them. So make sure that you test your water, not every week, not every day, but at least once a month. See what's going on. If you see your fish acting differently, it is most likely to be something in your water that's causing it. So check it out as soon as possible. Now, lymphocytes look like little creamy colored whitish pimples on a fish. It often, um, or oh, it look like acne, like humans get acne, it's acne on a fish basically. So we tend to sometimes mistake in this for ick or tumors. You don't necessarily have to have many of them. You can get different sizes. They're not all uniform in size, so don't get that um, mixed up with ick or epistylus. Yes, I'm gonna get mixed up with all these long technical words. So don't get the, these all mixed up. You have to be sure that it is lymphocytes before treating because there are, it is a different treatment method altogether as you will find out in a few minutes about um, how to do this compared to epistylus or columnaris or ick. They all have different treatment methods. So make sure you identify them correctly. And if you're stuck on identifying what you have, jump on Facebook real quick, put up a picture and tag me or one of the admin and we'll gladly help you identify what your problem is. Get a nice bright colored photo in there. Now, with lymphocytes, you can, like I said, you can have one or two dots on one side and on the opposite side of the fish. They're not uniform in size. Sometimes you'll have one big one and one small one or five large ones and two small ones. There's no minimum amount to have. You can even have one sometimes. And it is raised, it can bulge, and that's why it often gets mistaken for a tumor. It should not, however, be drained. Do not cut it off. The fish can actually bleed to death or get poisoned by their own, um, I'm not sure what's contained, I how to explain it really easily, what's contained in it, let's just call it pus for now. Um, you do not want to expose the fish to that sort of um, toxicity in the water. So whatever you do, let them be. Now, the thing that, the actual little lumps will not kill the fish. However, the secondary bacteria will kill the fish. It will likely develop a bacterial disease after getting these um, little, we'll just call them pimples for now, the acne. So you have to be careful about how to treat that bacterial infection afterwards. You don't want to end up with something like a gram negative bacteria and end up with columnaris and killing the fish. So more than importantly, the only way to treat this disease is one, to have pristine, clean water. So what I recommend is moving the fish to a tank that's newly cycled, or if it's not cycled yet, make sure you're doing daily water changes in it. You wanna have the perfect parameters, make sure that's there and to, it will, mind you, it will get a second bacterial infection. So make sure you treat that bacterial infection, get the fish through that cycle and more than likely it will be okay. For the 
pimples themselves, the little lumps, there is no direct treatment. There is no medication that will fix that. It will disappear, however, on its own with good water. So I can't stress that enough. Make sure your GH is on point. You want to have good GH, KH in that water. Don't skimp out and not get a GH test kit. Make sure you get one. Um, the other thing is, it will sit in the water, even if you take that fish out of the fish tank and there's no other fish in there, it will, there are viral particles that will sit in there for seven days that are, will be active. So make sure, you, if you're planning on killing out this um, disease altogether, I recommend leaving it empty for at least three weeks unless you're planning on nuking, nuking that tank and getting rid of everything and giving it a good clean. The other safe way, like I just mentioned, is leave it empty for three weeks. There is nothing more that you can do um, adding salt to the water will help with the bacterial side of things and um, it does help the slime coat on the fish. Again, it will not harm the invertebrates, it will not harm your catfish or your plants if you use the recommended dose on the back of the box. So, to sum up, it is a, a, it is a disease that all fish can catch. It is very, very easy to catch. Make sure you have clean hands perfect water, good parameters, uh, a bacterial medication, and I highly recommend either uh, a sulfur-based medication or Marison 2, and make sure that you leave that tank empty for three weeks without fish if you're planning on reusing the same tank without nuking it. Hopefully that's helped you guys, and I hope that you have an awesome rest of the day. Please take care of yourselves. Join us next week, and if you have not subscribed yet to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, especially that notifications bell, and take care of yourselves. Once again, thank you very much for joining us on Cookies Fish Room. I'll talk to you guys, whoever I see on Facebook or Instagram. Message me if you do need help. Tag me is much easier. Don't forget the time zone difference, and I'll do my very best to get back to you. Take care, everybody. Thank you. Bye for now.